What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my City Grill Indoor Outdoor Grill and today for you guys I'm gonna make some smash burgers and some Nathan's hot dogs as you can see this has a grill plate and a griddle. We're gonna make our smash burgers first and I'm going to do my onions first so I have it preheating right now. Alright we're gonna saute some onions first add some water get some steam action going I'll be back Alright guys, <clears throat> these are my burgers. Put it up into a bowl. I seasoned it. Now usually traditionally you wouldn't season your burgers, your smash burgers before you put it on the grill. But I, that's how I do it. That's how I like to do it. Now I put some Witcher Sister Social Sauce on there. And this is my go-to seasoning. And that's it. Link will be in the description. Smelling good y'all. And that was avocado, by the way. Avocado oil. I'm going to let these go for about two minutes. And then we're going to smash them. I'm going to turn down the temperature. This grill goes to about over 600 degrees, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Alright, guys, we're ready to smash. Got my parchment paper. Smash it down real good. Right about a minute and a half has passed. So I'm gonna give them a flip. I'm gonna let this go for another minute or so. I got some provolone and some sharp cheese on there it's hot dog time y'all let you know we're not playing. Can you see it? Oh yeah, well that's not enough. Alright guys, let's see what we got. See that, right? That's grill box. All right, guys, I turned down the heat. Look at that. Come on now. 
put my bread in, put some bacon on, some pre-cooked bacon. Let's take a look at my buns, they're probably ready. Yep, look at that. Lucky thing I turned it down too. Alright guys, now we got it on low. We're pretty much done. We're going to put our uh, smash burgers and hot dogs together. Let's do this guys. I got some Japanese mayo given to me by uh, Jamaican Choice. I know that's weird, but they gave it to me. And it's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some lettuce to it just stuff it on there however then I'm in my Burger King mode right now I'm gonna add some thousand Island just to shake things up you want your burger to taste like a Whopper or Burger King Burger King just add just add some thousand Island Alright guys, I'm going to add some tomato. Fully loaded, y'all. Let's go ahead and add some bacon. Let's go ahead and add my smash burger. Oh yeah. Let's add some ketchup. Add some onions. One time for North Carolina, I'm gonna add some Duke's mayo. I know some of y'all don't like ketchup with your hot dog, so I'm going to hide it. The rest of my onions. Now normally I put some slaw on there, some chili, but I ain't got time for all that today. <laughs> We're going to try a little bit of this out today. Probably some good hot sauce, but we're going to see. I'm doing the mustard for y'all. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Well, here it is guys I am starving so I'm not gonna waste any time you see it please take a bite you got it mm-hmm that is good man Nothing short of fantastic. Mm. Mm. This could be you. Indoors. Or outdoors. With your city grill. That Thousand Island gave it a nice touch. Let's try this hot dog. Yeah, I like mustard, so you first. You got it? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I like that hot sauce. Not too hot. More of a like a sweet tomato hot taste. Different than like a Texas Pete. Okay, it comes in the end. I like that. Okay. Have another bite. Mmm. Not bad. I would recommend it. It's not hot, hot, but you feel a kick uh, about 10 seconds, by 7 seconds later, which I like. Which is different than other hot sauces. It's just like, bam, in your mouth. But this one is like, it creeps up on you. It has a bite to it. Take the last bite with me. Or a bite and a half. Mmm. Well, anywho, guys, I'm just having fun with my Kenyan City Grill. I'll put a link into the description on uh, where you can get yours. And remember, this grill is indoor or it can go outdoor. There's like an, um, like an attachment that you can buy. Like It's like a stand that it sits in the middle of and you can use it outdoor. Or you could just put it on a, a tabletop outside anyway. Either way, it would work. But this is an indoor and outdoor grill, so definitely check it out. Anywho, if you have any type of indoor grill, whether this City Grill or George Foreman or Ninja Foodie Grill or any grill indoors, we'd love to see what you're making um, on your grill. So consider joining my indoor grill uh, group. It's called Indoor Grilling with Doug. And um, yeah, click the link and join and, and share what you're making or do a search and get some recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. That's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Main thing, thanks for even looking at my video, y'all. It's cooking with Doug.